Well, it's about time you got here. Follow the truth. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow the love. That feels really powerful. Hi, I'm Lee Trevathan, and you are about to get a little dose of my reality. For about 30 years, I've been teaching something called extraordinary thinking. I truly believe in it. I live it to the best of my ability. And now, instead of just having books, we will have videos that teach these lessons as well in a fun way. So those of you who have followed me for many, many years and bought my books and watched other videos, I thank you. But you know what? There is a disclaimer about this particular TV show, internet TV show. It really can shift your reality and maybe in an extraordinary way that you didn't expect. So be prepared. It may look ordinary, but look deeper. I threw over a hunky Hollywood actor for an aging <laughs> a rock star, <laughs> bald head, <laughs> big belly. I call it his Buddha belly. What was I thinking? He's wacko. Oh, that's why they call him Wacky Mackie. <laughs> no, really, what was I thinking? <laughs> Just kidding. I always wonder when I meet people if they start their day with a blessing or if they start their day with a curse. Sometimes they're cursing their day unconsciously. They don't even know it. I thought this would be a good flying lesson, so hmm. which one do you do? Um, there's chicken here. And then there's more They didn't have any gravy. They didn't have like anything. That's okay. This morning. What's so, wrong with these people? Or right now. I went this morning and they didn't have anything. So oh, man. I had to go now. Yeah, we said I'm just stuff. Oh. Okay. Well, come kiss my eyelids because you won't see my eyes like this ever again. Oh. Thank you, baby. Love you, too. I gotta head back to work. But good luck. I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh. Kids pulling on me and okay, all that. Okay, love you. Call me and let me know how everything goes. Okay, papers. Love you, honey. Love you. <laughs> love you too. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Love you, honey. Thanks, Kate. Thank you, papers. And of course, on the day of eye surgery, that's the day that MacMan decides to be Captain Chaos. Oh. oh my lord. Hey, you married me. I can't keep giving you these free life lessons. I really That's can't. That's why I married you. Free psychology. Free consultation. $75. $125. Oh, that was a $600 lesson. I'm not talking to you. I put off eye surgery for a couple of years, thinking it was going to be a really big deal, trying to justify the expense of it. Oh, there was a lot of stuff. But you know what? When I finally did it, it, what, it wasn't so bad. And I just wish I would have done it a couple of years earlier and improved my eyesight a lot sooner. I didn't realize what a great blessing. I think it's really important, although the typical world wouldn't think this way, I do, 
think it's really important to observe ourselves and our lives every day, especially when we have kids, because however we are that day is memorable. When the next day comes, we won't be the same. We will never be the same again. Whether it's something like this or just our typical changes we all go, all go through, we won't ever see ourselves the same way. Our kids will never see ourselves the same way. In our case, grandkids will never see me the same way as they did before the surgery. So, I know it may sound strange to some people, but just honor and respect every day of your life and just your general appearance because tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is actually a new life for you. The next two minutes, your life will change. The next minute, your life will change because you will have grown and evolved in a way that no one can see until they look really close. It's a matter of honor and respecting yourself. So I actually did a blessing on my eyes this morning realizing that when I look in the mirror over the next few days, I will never see these eyes again these eyes that I have right now, today, as of the next few hours, will exist no more. So I thank them for how they have impacted my life. Uh, you know, thank God I was young and pretty in Hollywood once. <laughs> and you're still young and pretty. Lots of stories to tell there. <laughs> these eyes. Yeah, hanging out with all the cool dudes. But... Um, I know it may seem like most people don't think about the things that I think about, but that's probably why I think about them. Warning, what you're about to see is graphic, and it may not be suitable for some viewers. Well, that was a trip. Really? Now you're done. Yeah, I'll we'll be seeing for the next few days. See, actually, they don't look bad except for the scars. You know, I can see the stitches. where they have the stitches. The stitches, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I mean, it, it, it was easier than I thought. It's just the injections Did they give you a bunch into of the eye. It, well, no, it's lidocaine mm. and um, some other, two other things. So, the good news is I should look 15 to 20 years younger after all this, <laughs> which wasn't my reason for doing it, but um, my vision should improve. I should get my peripheral vision that I've lost that sh I should get that back mm -hmm. and, so and fairly see, quickly I'm healing uh, this whole side of my face still has a little bit more healing to do but we removed uh, about 22 millimeters of extra skin that I had on my eyes and I was starting to lose my vision so I've gotten my vision back in less than two weeks and I'm really happy about that so, can't wait to see what's going to happen next. So, you know that saying, be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it? For years, I wanted to see my ex-husband, Randy. Well, what came next for me was my ex-husband, Randy. After nearly 40 years, we reconnected, and my current husband Mac and my ex-husband Randy are like bosom buddies now, they're best friends, have this habit of marrying musicians. That could be a curse, hmm. but in my case it's a blessing, of course. But we had a great time, and guess what? Now Mac wants to move to Lancaster, California, leave Arizona, and go sit in with State Street Band. Musicians. Can't live with them and can't live without them. Might as well call it a blessing. Now we're recording. We're recording? <laughs> what are we recording? You. You. <laughs> okay. Well, we are at Jeannie's Bar and Grill in Lancaster, California. It's August. It is the most excellent place. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so a question. Uh -oh. Okay, uh -oh. well, we'll ask Randy first. The red light's on and I have a question. That's right. Oh, okay. Ask him first and I'll give, give the true story. <laughs> One of my dreams was to reconnect with Randy. It really was. Because I do remember why I married him. <laughs> and it wasn't just because he was like the cool rock guy at school. That wasn't it. It was just, he, he was just full of light. And he still is today and I'm happy to see that. And 
I really can't wait to see how everything unfolds, how the dream unfolds, so to speak, over the next 10, 15, 20, maybe even more years. Because one of the things we used to say when we were young, when we were married, is that isn't it going to be cool growing old together? Well, guess what? We're probably still going to get to grow old together. Isn't that awesome? Now that is. Do you know the difference between speaking blessing or speaking cursing? No. Okay. Do you? Speaking blessing and speaking cursing? Yes. One's nice and one's not. <laughs> okay. Do you? Well, just let me say. <laughs> Okay, Miss Stu. I do not. Okay. I would say what she said. Mr. MacMan, do you know the difference between speaking blessing or speaking cursing? I feel very blessed that I've been cursed with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh. 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 No, that's close though. Oh. Do you know why, after all these years, Stu, that you and I can still be close? Oh, I know why. Yeah, it's a blessing and it was meant to be. Did she not? <laughs> You're the blessing and he's the curtain. No, <laughs> no that's Beauty and the Beast. Oh. <laughs> no, just to you. No, because instead of cursing you, I sent blessings oh, to you. Amen. Very good. See? See? Karma yeah. is real. Karma, what karma, the hell did you do that for? <laughs> Oh, I think she's reading that back there. <laughs> she has a whole list back here. That's right. <laughs> no, and and got everybody on here except you. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, you can't do it in a dress. I was gonna say we need to show them our legs. Oh, that's right. We have we have legs. <laughs> well, we have legs. Like she has legs. Oh, yeah, but you like she knows legs. how to do this. She has So the moral of the story is this. Every day when we wake up, we all have the same power. It's a power that we're given before we're ever brought here, before we're born. And it is a power that is absolutely mind-boggling. And we do have the power to curse ourselves and we have the power to bless ourselves. We have the power to curse and bless others. So before you go all willy-nilly through your day, like most of us do, stop and think. Are you saying things to yourself today that are empowering? Are you saying things to other people today that empower them? Anything that you say that is not of light, that is not about the truth of who you are, the magnificent, outstanding, amazing person that you are, beyond all your faults, because those aren't really seen by the Creator. If you're not saying things that empower yourself, you're living in darkness. And even a little bit can make you a little sick. A lot can make you a lot sick. Emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. It's time to fly. And if you haven't gotten your flying lesson book, please do so. At the end of this video, all of the information will be available to you. And if you want to know what the book looks like, well, of course, I'm going to show you. It's my book. Ta-da! There it is. Want to see it again? Ta-da! And again? I don't know about that theory of repetition, but I do know for certain that if you repeat to yourself every day how magnificent you truly are, if you don't believe it now, well, guess what? You'll believe it soon enough. And then you'll start to live it. And your life will be made easier. And you will truly be blessed. Because that's how it's supposed to be. So that's your flying lesson for today. Stay tuned. Be sure you like us on the Facebook page. And keep watching. We'll be back.